What's up guys? So we finally got the Wildkeeper weak spell that may have been named ironically or not. We finally have the fusion going and we're of course gonna start it out with a bang with a massive shard pull session of 40 shards or whatever. I pulled my ancients in the 1 plus 1 ancient event a little bit maybe like a two weeks ago. I didn't get anything from that but it, it is what it is. I don't know if I can even get enough points but not for champion training. Never mind that. By the way, we'll also talk about that because now we finally got the tools for the tavern to make it easier and it's better but I feel like they missed a couple super key things and it would be way better. I, I'm not expecting them to come back to it and make it better. I hope they would because this is this is lacking like some some basic stuff that the other games have that um, that also do the same tavern system that Ray just implemented. And um, okay, so we're gonna need three thousand points for the yeah. So if we get lucky, if we get a lot of legendaries, that's gonna be good. It's not about pulling sacreds, which I guess works well with the ancient event. But chances are that I might be forced to pull some other shards than ancients or then I mean I guess I'd rather buy with gems but let's see how lucky we get but I kind of need to I need to pull some legendaries hopefully to actually actually finish off the event today. With 40 shards that's not likely. I haven't been keeping track of my PT counter though. It may very well be actually that we're gonna hit the PT counter on Ancients today and as you know it's always the same old riddle. At this point Evan Gatsis is kind of totally out of the meta because of Angora A2, I mean Narsus A2. I don't really even want to get Gatsis, I mean I'll take it but at this point even Gatsis wouldn't be that big deal. I really want to get like... <laughs> Arima and Rotos and that's about it. I mean, you know, there would be some other good pulls. Honestly, I'm I'm more excited about getting some epics for the good ones that I, that I can empower rather than getting some mid-tier legendaries uh, ascended because those epics might help me in a cursed city and so on. But pretty much, I mean, you know, I desperately want to get Harima. Arima is so crucial in the live arena meta right now, especially for a account like mine that is relying on old champions, old fusion champions like Wukong and Rotos. Arima just counters them so hard and I really need her in my team so that the enemy teams can't pick her and even outside of just <laughs> picking her so that I can face it but she is super strong. Her Passive is basically the only way to make make tanky teams or go second teams work because that isn't ignored by Narsus A2 and just overall the effect is actually incredibly strong. Like I mentioned before and I might make another video about that because we got some calculators in my discord, you should check that out, but they count everything including ignore defense and champion multipliers and the exact damage on your specific champion and build. And Harima like passive against champions with high ignore defense like Rotos or Wukong, it's gonna be like 80% damage reduction. The passive is even way better than it, it sounds on paper. I wouldn't just use her in live arena to be honest, I would definitely use her in my classic arena defense at this point as well. Some of you might have seen that I didn't do too well on last week, but um, I'm probably gonna use Armands next time and I'm sure it will go a little bit better with that, but um, I really hope I can get Harim or some other upcoming champions, but good luck to me, good luck to you guys, I'm not gonna this is not gonna be a long shard pull session, so let's see what we get. 
Let me just double check. Yeah, we got the event going on. Wait, I totally missed that. I, I guess I wasn't paying attention. We got 10 x at the same time. What? That, that was totally under the radar for me. AoE A1, not triggering counter attacks. Interesting champion. Is this meant to be like on Hydra or something? Okay, <laughs> it's definitely a Hydra champion. Okay, I. it's kind of funny that they have this weird exception. If you don't know, like there's that Mastery, Kill Streak, and World End of Death that give you speed and damage on kill. And there's some other mechanics as well, like Mountain King passive and so on. I'm sure there's a couple other ones that I can't recall out of top of my head. But in this passive it says that it increases this champion's max HP by 20% for each enemy killed or Hydra Head Hydra head decapitated, and the reason why it has this is because Hydra heads obviously don't count as kills, and that's why you can't take advantage of those other mechanics on Hydra. I don't understand why they don't. They should just make Hydra heads count as kills, but whatever. I mean, I have been trying to <laughs> give Plarium a lot of uh, feedback lately. I'm sure that's not... Uh, that's not really a big uh, concern for them, but it, it is what it is. Anyway, I totally didn't even know that he was <laughs> he was a 10 axe, but to be honest, I wouldn't mind getting him, so fair enough. Oh, usually I kind of avoid the 10 axe events, and if he wasn't interesting, I probably would skip this and do it on Sunday, but he might actually wouldn't mind getting. I think I could, I can make a lot use out of champion with AOE A1. Let me just double check his multipliers though. But yeah, I was supposed to talk about the Tavern and the Shard Pool on this video. This champion wasn't in my plans. Wait, Ayumi Lab doesn't even have it yet. Okay, no, it does, yeah. No, like, no. Uh, I always talk about the Hellhades optimizer on videos, and I use it a lot and so on. One thing I would um, like say about them is that, I mean, and this is personal, I mean some people are gonna disagree and some people are not, let me put that off. Ah, where is it? Okay, good. That uh, I don't really like the UI on the champion. When you open a champion, actually, let's do it. Let me show it to you. Might as well. Wait. Okay, I, ty I type it in the wrong way. I type it Ontarion in instead of Otorion. So, not gonna lie, I'm just gonna keep it 100% real. I hate the UI on the. <laughs> Haley Hades website when you open it and you want to look up champion. I have to scroll like 15 pages and this UI, some people are gonna like it. I find it kind of a little bit messy and annoying. And here I can see like everything on one page. I guess on this champion you can kind of see it on Haley Hades website, but often you can't on most other champions. On Ayumi Love I can instantly see everything. To be honest, even on Ayumi Love, this part they could take all of that away at least put it below the champions. I want to see the champion picture and the skills on the first page. That's what I want to see. Everything else can be down below, but... Okay, so the multiplier on A1 is low. That's kind of to be expected. Most other champ... Well, every other champion except maybe Garol with AoE A1 has horrible multiplier, but something like Tormin I think is 2. Or is it 1.8? Anyway. I wasn't expecting it to be super high, but then he does have the enemy max HP nuke and AoE on the A2, so... He does kind of seem super good. I will still rather have Harima, but I'm not gonna mind getting that anyway. Let's do the single pulls first, and then we will speedrun the last 40 shards, but 
yeah, good luck for everybody else. I mean, everybody's forced to pull on these events, so you can't really skip it. Even though there has been a lot of negativity around Wildkeeper weeks, well, I don't think he's going to be like top tier champion on Hydra, but he seems well above average. I mean, doesn't he have like AoE taunt on the A1? Let me double check. Not AoE, but it's like 100% chance to taunt. Yeah, he has 100%, no, not taunt, I mean Provoke. Provoke on A1, and yeah, then he has some other utility on Hydra. Doesn't seem that bad, but anyway. Oh, oh no, yeah, he has the passive with counter attack, so kind of does have like um, very high uptime on Provoke. There isn't too many champions that can do it well. Of course, the super accounts, they are going to have Krisk, but I pray that I will never pull a Krisk in raid, and instead I will pull some good PvP champions, so... Anyway. To be honest, I'm not even expecting Harry, but just give me any random legendary so I can finish this event, or as many epics as possible. G give me a couple um, galas at least, so I can get plus 4 gala. Obviously, since we don't have enough room, like Vault Space or Reserve Vault, or even with those multiple departments, there, okay, that's good, 4 epics. There's not enough space to keep champions. Obviously, I have used like countless galas as chickens, and it's gonna take a long time to actually empower the epics. I can't do it right now, so I wouldn't mind getting some. Okay, do we have one pool left? Pretty sure I'm gonna buy some ancients, but let's see how far we get. But are we not gonna hit the pity? I kind of thought we would hit the pity. No? Okay. Why do I keep going on the champion? <laughs> champion training event in instead of the champion chase. Oh, okay, we actually got closer to it than I thought. That's not bad. So just, okay, just one more ten pool and we can do it. Yeah, I'm not even gonna think about that. Wait, where, where can... It's here, right? No? In the channel shop, okay. We're good. I'm not even gonna, like... Uh, if you want the super dry hearties, I guess at this point, if I need, like... Something like 200 points, you could just do a single pulls and... Make sure that you don't go past 3000 points. To be honest, actually, that legendary book with 650 is kind of um, juicy. L let's see if we can get it with 10 pool, but maybe I'm actually gonna buy another 10 pool if, if we need it. I don't want to go to Chiro Games. I have been there and it can be very um, painful at times. God damn it, I wanted to talk about the tavern update, but not yet. <laughs> Uh, okay, normally I would, um, okay, let's just do it speed run for the video. This is not what I'm gonna do off video, but I just want to make champion space quickly. But, um, okay, give me a sec. I have some big issues with the tavern. You could easy, easily make it way better with very small tweak, but never mind. Let's just get this done. Like, for instance, uh, well, I'm gonna talk about it in a second, but there's no option to make it use already, like, uh, I don't want it to actually use chickens. I would want it to use um, level 18 uh, three star or whatever star champions for that rank up, for obvious reasons. We don't have enough wall space, and I'm constantly full, so is everybody. And it's using the chickens by default. I don't want it to use chickens. I want it to use my champions, so I have actually room to pull shards. Do we have it now? No. God damn it, I made like four space. Can I quickly No, every every vault is full. Can I buy like reserve vault space? I got some money at this point. Yeah, okay, fine. Let's buy some reserve vault space and 
draw some random uh... no not like this draw some random rares in there I guess I'll figure it out later off with uh... wait not that anyway I'm not gonna lie the raid UI still sucks even with this update wait what do I have to pull it? <sighs> Even with this update, the raid UI is horrible. It's much worse than the other similar games. Wait, no. Can I not do it with the filters up? Oh yeah, you can do it with filters up, yeah. It's so confusing, it's so annoying, I hate the UI. Fix it, but... Okay. Raid is just so tedious on these small things, it's so... It shouldn't be that big part of the game. That That's the, like, big reason. I mean, there's other things, but, like, all champions becoming irrelevant and so on. But Raid just takes so much time on many things where it wouldn't have to be. It's tedious on purpose, and it, it does piss me off. Okay, what points did we get? I'm, I'm not even worried about pulling legendary champions because the chances are so low and of course I'm never getting anything good so that's like the last thing in my head I just want to not waste three hours pulling charts and doing the champion training tournament is that too much to ask okay I think this is gonna be the last 10 pull I can't afford many more anyway, so... Okay, come on. We're not even getting any epics. Okay, one epic. Yeah. If I do like ten, one more, then I'm totally finished. And I'm sure, as you know, how Raid does things. There's a... Okay, we did, still didn't get it. How close? There's a good chance that we're gonna get some nice events for ancients next week they often like to do the one plus one after the ancient event even if it's not that there could be something else good but uh, i guess that's my own fault for pulling so i would definitely say that you kind of want to be sp sparseful in these events there's no reason to pull more than you need generally but i do want to get the legendary shard I'm kind of getting low on them. Oh, come on. I did make some champion space of the video, but as you can see, I'm completely full and I didn't think I would need this much space. So I always have to deal with this tedious stuff every time. And I know that everybody else pretty much has to as well. Okay, come on. Final 10 pull, give me a Haruma, then we can, then we can be happy. Come on. Ah. Dude, I thought I was gonna get the pity pull. I thought it was so close, but that's one thing. I've mentioned it before, but there used to be a third party program that would track the pity pull, and not in the way that Arasal Helper does it, but it could just see it from the in-game files, how close you are to pity pull. And Plarium made it not work, because like their reason was security or whatever and people have been asking for them to implement it in the game for years and they just don't want to do it I don't understand why they couldn't just let us be able to check the PC counter but whatever I'm not even gonna get into that on this video but if we quickly talk about the tavern update it's nice, it's gonna make things easier, it's gonna be helpful, but there's a couple really massive things that it actually lacks, like the most important feature honestly it lacks. If you click the instant upgrade, it's already telling me that uh, wait, you don't have any common or uncommon champions of rank 2 or lower, and that's what it's gonna say here. Why is there not an option to use uh, like Bruce 
obviously you can just do it manually, but since we got the system that you should be able to easily deal with the tavern and instantly rank up champions, why is there not an option to use Bruce? That, that's so stupid. This will be like the first thing that you would assume that they would have added, but it only does it for one star and two star chickens or champions. And I guess that's helpful, but why not go all the way? The main way that people generally level up champions if they are more endgame is going to be Bruce anyway, so it's a weird, weird thing to miss out. Then another thing, like if I go on the instant rank up, rank up option, as you can see, it's only giving me the option to go for chickens, and there's no, like, um, there's no option for me to, like, because of the champion training tournament, that's the main reason why you really <laughs> have to level up champions in raid, because assuming that you're kind of end game, in early game you're obviously gonna need champions for faction wars and so on. But most champions are trash compared to the couple new ones, and people are not leveling up new champions because they are excited to use them. They are leveling up new champions to do champion training tournaments. That's where the end game players are at. Not, not even like super end game players, but like mid game players. And you need to level up your champions to level 18 or whatever to make most out of the Bruce and like min max the champion training tournaments. And why is there not an option to set a specific level? Like, let's say there could be one button. Level up everything at like 1 star to 2 star or whatever. Level up everything to 18. Or use everything, use all of the level 18 champions as chickens instead of my actual chickens. Because I will still have to manually do everything basically with this update. Like, sure, I can do that, but my vault is full, my reserve vault is full, everything is full. I, I could upgrade it a little bit, but. I'm soon gonna run out of silver if I do it, and I will still have to manually <laughs> level up every champion to level 18, and then use it as brew, and this kind of beats the point of the system, even though I appreciate it, and I kind of feel like um, if we're being a bit cynical, there has been so much complaints that I guess Plarium felt forced to do it, but this is very half-hearted way to do the Daven system, other games still have this way better. I really... It pisses me off a little bit that why can't Red Plarium just get it right? They know how other other games do it, they know the player feedback, but they almost... Almost it feels like they're on purpose implementing a half-hearted system just to say that they have done it, but it actually doesn't do it and I will still have to manually deal with this BS every time we have fusions and champion training tournaments and everything, but maybe I'm just a little bit mad because I can't get the Harima that I desperately want, but it is what it is. Anyway, do you think I got something wrong? I'm sure there are some other things that they could add to the tavern as well, but it feels like the most important things are not part of the tavern update, and this kind of sours my mood about it and makes it feel kind of pointless. But anyway, good luck with your pulls. Any questions and comments, put them down below. Subscribe to my channel. I really need to get more subscribers. I really want to get access to test server, but it's impossible. It's so hard to get it. But anyway, that's it. Have a nice day. See ya.